today's money, she's gonna use Cupid Arrow. She's one a Splendid and Barbara. I know it is black. I don't know. This is what she picked. Now, Cupid's Arrow, let me put it a little close. This is how it looks. This is a glitter that I created. This is how it looks. And it has pink, red, and it got some hearts and a little bit of silver and a very, very little gold. I created these for Valentine's Cupid's Arrow by Judge Nail Dips, Splendid Rebel Nail, and Barbara Rebel Nail. Now she wants, what's your hand, Mama? She wants Cupid's Arrow, Cupid's Arrow and Splendid, Splendid and Barbara, which is red and black, red and glitter, red and red. So let's see how these turn out. I already had applied two coats of clear and her nails are already prepped. Um, I had to do two coats of clear because last time I did one coat and this little lady right here decided that she was going to go play basketball and chip a lot of her nails. So I did two coats to hopefully it prevent her nails from chipping when she is um, playing outside. But let's see how it goes and let's get to work. So here I'm taking my double deep base and I'm just gonna start with the color Splendid. Now, one thing about this deep powder, it is that it is very, very pigmented. So, if you do get this color, I just suggest you to be very, very careful. As you're gonna see in the video, it is extremely pigmented. Each of the colors I did two layers of deep um, with the red, the black, and also the glitter. Okay, so to do the color blocking, a lot of people like to use clear tape. Using this kind of tape, which is painter's tape, is how I did this color blocking and it looks amazing. So instead of using um, the clear tape, I'm just gonna use the regular blue painter's tape. When color blocking, I the only thing that I would suggest you is to make sure you're pinching those edges, especially in your cuticle area, so the liquid doesn't go under the tape. And as you can see here, I'm using my cuticle pusher to just pour the powder instead of just dipping the nail with the tape in it. I got the two layers done I went ahead and activated all the deep powder that way I let the activator sit there while I do the rest of the nails here I'm doing the second nail in the same process that I did with the first nail um, I guess I just wanted to show you I am so sorry that I'm a little bit out of angle but I'm trying to record this was definitely not the easiest Sometimes working with chunky glitters are a little bit difficult so I'm going to show you something that I like to do when the glitter is just not layered in the way I want it to be layered and it's something super easy and super simple but you can adjust the glitter however this is that you want it to look on your nail. Once I do a layer of glitter, I like to tap on it so that way any glitter that is up, then I can just tap it down and make sure it's flat on the nail.
Now with a dotting tool, all I'm doing is removing the glitter that is loose around the edges um, and making sure any unwanted glitter that I see is not sticking, I'm just going to remove it. If I see that the glitter is not staying in the nail the way I want it to, then what I do is I apply a little bit more of the deep base and with a dotting tool I pick up and just place them the way I want them to look on the nail. Something is very simple but you can adjust the way you want the glitter to look. I'm satisfied with how the glitter look then I go ahead and activate the nail just let it sit it for a while while I do the rest of the nail and then come back to encapsulate all that glitter as you can see here black is another color from Rebel Nail that is super super pigmented so you got to be a little careful when you're using it because it does get all over and it does get all over the mat the mat is super easy to clean but it is a very very pigmented color I go ahead and remove the painter's tape that I had for the cutoff blocking. Now my daughter did complain that it hurt a little bit, but she was alright, nothing major. Now as you can see, I do need to sharp the edges. Um, and what I do here is just take my file and just make sure that, that the line that I want to create stays sharp so that way it's easy to layer the next color on the other side. Then you will apply the second color just like you do with any regular dip, just making sure that that deep base is stay on, stays on the nail instead of going towards all the skin around your nails. Um, if you want, you can use a dotting tool, but I really didn't have no issues applying the second color. again you'll see me using my dotting tool to place the glitter however is it that I want the glitter to look I'm, now I'm removing the glitter that is loose but then you will see me again adding deep base and just adding some more glitter to the nail and then I go ahead and encapsulate the nail using clear deep powder
working right now. I know a little crazy, but I promise you when we're done, it's going to be looking great. Right. So now I'm going to do the other hand of camera and then. Now I'm going to use my large barrel nail bit to just make sure that all the edges are smooth around the cuticle and the nail itself that everything feels very nice and smooth before I proceed to the next step. I use the drill on the nail and make sure I touch it um, a couple of times to make sure it feels as smooth. to use for the first time my medium grip sanding band I actually got these in a packet from Amazon it comes in a hundred and let me tell you I love 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 this uh, band because even if you get close to the cuticle it will not cut you and it leaves the nail so smooth and it does not remove uh, the color from the nail Once my nails are smooth, then I go ahead and apply step number one, which is the top, the deep base first on my on all of my nails, and then I go ahead and activate that. Now, I did learn this a couple of weeks ago. What this does is that encapsulate your nails. And let me tell you, once you apply the activator, activator your nails look so shiny, as you can see here. Now I'm going to apply this um, art tape. I got this off of Amazon as well. This is in the color silver. And I'm just gonna cut um, these small pieces and I'm going to apply in between the two colors that I layered together. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with this kind of art tape is that make sure where you are putting your tape um, it's completely clean because it will not stick and if you want to encapsulate that tape with clear powder you can I personally don't because I don't want it I don't want my nails to feel bulky or my daughter's nails to feel bulky so what I do is that I apply two coats of top coat instead of applying another layer of deep powder this is the final result something super cute but yet so simple don't forget if you like the video hit the video thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button and with this being said it will be on to the next one